A few more points about the uh, Kidneyot and the, uh, the Ashkenazi custom not to have legumes. Um, it makes only sense, and that's the way the, 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 uh, the Baratanya holds and, and many other halakhic authorities, that the prohibition that the Ashkenazi communities have with Kidneyot would not be um, stricter and worse than Chometz itself. And therefore, in ways that, that sorry, not chametz, it wouldn't be worse than, than the five grains themselves. So in ways that you're allowed to eat the five grains, you will be allowed to eat the kidney up, the legumes as well. Clearly, we all know, one can take wheat and grind it and bake it uh, within 18 minutes before it rises, that's what we call matzot. Not only the, not only you're allowed to eat matzot on Pesach, you have to eat matzot on Pesach. Therefore, the common sense would say that you can take corn, for instance, and grind it before Pesach, bake it before Pesach within the 18 minutes, and you will be allowed to eat corn matzot on Pesach or whatever it would look like. Um, same would be with beans and so on and so forth. So you can't take um, the Ashkenazi communities can't take um, um, beans and soak them in water and bake them or cook them rather, or, or corn. You can't cook corn and uh, and and eat it uh, because that's just like that's just like uh, uh, the the uh, the grains which you can't do, and that will turn into chametz. However, if you treat it the same way, you'll be allowed to. Similarly, the Gemara says that uh, you can eat a fresh. Um, even dry, but a fresh, uh, non-baked kernel of wheat on Pesach. Because wheat is not chametz, it's flour and water and time which makes something into chametz. And therefore, just like you're allowed to eat uh, um, uh, uh, wheat on Pesach, you should be allowed to eat fresh legumes on Pesach, which were not baked or cooked. So, strictly speaking, won't be able to take fresh legumes and eat them. Not many of them can be eaten fresh, but corn is one option, uh, um, 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 snow peas is another option, which one will be allowed to eat as they are, or fry them in, in, uh, in oil and eat them. Therefore popcorn, according to that uh, uh, logic, one will be allowed to eat on Pesach, because you're taking uh, kernels of corn and you fry them in a pan with no water at all, and after something is fried, one will be allowed to eat it. Same that you'd be allowed to eat with, um, with same, same, which is the, the, the situation with, with, um, with the other grains, with wheat. Or, or if you, if you uh, um, roast it in the oven, you would be allowed to. And therefore, if you want to take um, what the Israelis call garinim, uh, sunflower seeds, and, uh, and, and, and fry them, not fry them, but, but to roast them in the oven, and then anything which was roasted, says the halacha, can't turn into chametz. And therefore, if one takes the, the uh, sunflower seeds, roasts them in the oven, and then eats them, once again, even if they touch uh, water, it should not be a problem. So that is really the custom of, or the way some halachic authorities have ruled that that's allowed to. Nonetheless, that is not the Ashkenazi custom. When it comes to Pesach, the customs are really what count. And, uh, and even though halakhatli there's no problem, nonetheless, it is not the custom to eat uh, um, uh, popcorn or, or uh, uh, roasted garinim or any other legumes, even though, strictly speaking, they should fit within the criteria of something which will be allowed to be uh, used. Nonetheless, uh, when it comes to products made out of the, um, the, the, uh, the kidney of the legumes. Here there are halakhic authorities who would rule clearly that that can be eaten. For instance, making oil out of sesame seeds or making oil out of soybeans. Soybeans, uh, um, at least according to some authorities, may be uh, kidney oat. But if you, if you extract from the soybeans the oil, without touching any water, there are Ashkenazi halakhic authorities who would rule that that is acceptable even for Ashkenazis. Uh, um, and again, ask your local rabbi if that's your custom, or ask your dad or granddad if that's your uh, own custom. But nonetheless, 
there are Ashkenazi Jews who follow the, the, the uh, strict uh, um, custom against eating kitniot. Nonetheless, they would eat on Pesach, or use on Pesach, soybean oil or sesame oil. Rav Cook famously was one of the early authorities who had a long responsa ruling that that is something which is permissible and acceptable for Ashkenazim according to Halakha as long as throughout the, the, the produce, the process of, of making it, they did not use any water.